Another video today is a pretty exciting video. Oakley is looks very excited today. She does not know what is ahead of her, but she looks excited. So lately, I have actually been using these Dr. Brown bottles with her, and I put this little thing on here to kind of give her the feel of switching over to a sippy cup. And so lately I've been trying to lean her off these bottles as she was getting older. These Dr. Brown bottles came in very handy and they actually made bigger sizes like this one is their biggest size. So I upgraded to these ones as she was getting older and put on these little handles for her to be able to still use it as a bottle but also hold on to it as like a sippy cup. And so that was my way of kind of leaning her off of her bottles that she loves so much. I was hoping that I can finally sh transition her into a more of a sippy cup style. And so she is just around six and a half months. And so it's right around that age time where I can switch over to her sippy cups so today i'm bringing you guys along with me and you guys are experiencing for the first time with me how she reacts to her sippy cups and i will update you guys on how that goes for her using a sippy cup for the first time so i actually have a lot of cute little sippy cups that i've been collecting the past couple of months per se and the first one I've actually been collecting them for a while but the first one is this ladybug I think it's super cute it doesn't really have any handles but it is more of a sippy cup top here as you can see instead of a bottle it's more of a sippy and this is a nook Next, I have this Tommy Tippy. That's another good bottle brand that also makes sippy cups, apparently. This one is super cute. It's a purple and it has an orange lid with, again, the sip part and it actually has a lid. I love that. I just love the design on the front here, the little giraffe. Next, I have this one. It's more of like a coral. It looks orange on camera. It's actually like a pink coral color kind of. And it has like a little Hawaiian themed or jungle themed I would say. This is leaves. It has like a little koala there with the stick and some more leaves. This is actually the first year's brand. I've never really heard of this brand before. But again it's that sippy cup style lid. And finally, probably one of, I think, the most helpful or useful bottles that I will use for her is this sippy cup here. It has a pink bottom and a blue, but it also has the handles. I have a couple versions of these sippy cups. I also have two that are like this that are kind of the same and actually these top parts are interchangeable so if I wanted this blue lid on the larger one because it has the handles I could easily switch that over but I with previous babies or toddlers I used this one a lot because I just liked the way that was and I think that because she can hold on to it she's going to probably use these handle ones more and I think I well, realistically, just use these ones more for the roleplay style, like I said, so she can hold them. It's just harder to obviously use this one because you would have to hold it because she can't actually hold it herself as she is a baby doll. 
Also, that is just a quick little disclaimer here. This is all role play, just for the fun of it. She is a doll, so she is not actually living. And this is, like I said, just for the fun of role playing. So I hope you guys enjoy. But anyways, tonight for her first sippy cup, I probably am going to use this one. I just feel like it's going to be the easiest to use and also it's already sealed here if you cannot tell on the top. I pack these holes where water comes out with glue just so it doesn't leak because that's the last thing I want it to do is leak on my baby. So I'm going to clear these other bottles out of the way. And also another transition that I'm going to do is instead of giving her milk, I know that's a big transition for her probably because she lived off of milk. She loved her bottles and she loved her milk whenever she was hungry. So I'm actually not going to use milk tonight. I think I'm just going to use water for the first night and see how that goes. Sometimes water can be difficult because water to me sometimes is just boring. So that might be a little bit of a hard transition, but we are going to give it a try tonight. So I actually have a bottle of water that I'm going to pour into here real quick. Pretty much filled it. I don't want to necessarily fill it, fill it, but I pretty much filled it. And this bottle, or this sippy cup, I keep, excuse me, I keep calling it a bottle. This sippy cup actually kind of spins and then it clicks. Maybe this one doesn't. The other one clicks in place. But anyways, that is full of water. So you, do you want to try it, Oakley? <laughs> I get used to holding it. Someone get used to holding it. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Try some water. So I don't think that she necessarily is having a strong problem with this sippy cup. Obviously, I think it's going to be a little bit of a transition to get used to, but she's not actually fussing like I thought she would over the water. I thought for sure she would be the one to be picky about what is in her sippy cup. But she actually thoroughly enjoys water, which makes me happy because she's going to stay hydrated then if I know that she's getting the water she needs. And I don't really know. This is, again, like I said, the beginning of something new for us. I think with the transition, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to, but... I think over time, she'll when she's thirsty, she'll hold the bottle herself. I think tonight she just did not want to hold the bottle. She looks a little tired, so I think I'm going to get her ready for bed in a little bit. But if she doesn't drink all this water, I am actually, for the first time ever, going to put her bottle in her crib, in her little bassinet sleeping area with her, just so she has her water in case she gets thirsty. Because I know that I, myself, to this day, have a water bottle by my bed just because I sometimes wake up thirsty. So I think as she's becoming a little miss independent here, she will realize that it's there and just decide to 
drink it as an instinct. There, there's your little passy. So I think I'm just going to let her have a little bit more bottle, actually, and then I'm going to put her in bed. She's probably gonna need a diaper change before she goes to bed, realistically, because sometimes I feel like the liquids, especially in a little baby body, goes right through the body. So I'm going to give her a little bit more and quickly do a diaper change, which I will show you guys just, and basically call it a night. So that was, so I hope you guys enjoy these last little clips of tonight. quick little morning update i'm actually super proud of oakley for doing this transition yesterday she actually handled it really well better than i thought i thought for sure she'd be the one to either a freak out about it not being a bottle and it actually being a little bit harder to sip out of the sippy cup or b it not being milk and it actually being water. I thought that she wasn't gonna like that. But as you can see here, she actually did really well on her bottle. It's not going to focus. Finishing the water in her sippy cup. It was pretty much gone by the time I went in to check on her this morning. I was actually shocked and very happy that she actually drank it. And she also woke herself up pretty early this morning. A little bit of a crabby mess. She was just a little bit crabby because she had a full diaper, but I don't blame her. By the looks of it though, it looks like she downed her sippy cup last night, which makes me happy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this new little video. I think it was pretty successful introducing her to the sippy cups and I'm glad that I get to continue using sippy cups with her and hopefully have more role plays in the future with her using sippy cups instead of bottles. Please like this video if you guys enjoyed and don't be afraid to comment down below. I love reading your guys comments. I really do read every single one of them that you guys every single comment that you guys leave down below some of them just make my day and make me so happy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video without further ado i will see you next time on bells reborns bye